I'm Paul Whiteman, and this is Trailers from Hell. In the early 40s, one of the biggest hits on Broadway was an all-African-American musical called Cabot in the Sky, made a big star out of Ethel Waters, and a hit song out of Happiness is a Guy Named Joe, which later won the Best Song Oscar. Anyway, in 1943, MGM, after great debate, decided to make a musical of it. There was great debate because who would go see a movie starring all black people, they wondered. In fact, it was not shown in many states in the South. They, act, they were pretty brave to do this. The fabulous Lena Horne has a number in it in a bathtub that was considered too racy for a black woman to do. It was cut out of the picture, although you can see it in one of the That's Entertainment movies. It's well worth seeing. I want you to take a look at the beginning of this trailer and tell me what hint you get that Negroes are involved in this picture. This is Vincent Minnelli's first big movie. He had been a production designer and they gave him his break to direct this, the big time musical extravaganza that had the big town cheering month after month. This is actually a wonderful movie. Ethel Waters got to be in the movie, which is unusual. They replaced the Broadway lead with Eddie Rochester Anderson, who had become a huge celebrity on the Jack Benny radio program. This picture has the fabulous Lena Horne, Duke Ellington and his band, and so many of the leading black performers, Louis Armstrong, Mantan Moreland, Willie Best, Butterfly McQueen, it's a delicious movie with great music. Costumes by Irene. It's really an MGM class production. It's another retelling of Faust with Rex Ingram. He played the genie in Thief of Baghdad. In this one, he's Lucifer. He also played the Lord in the Green Pastures. Triple threat. Anyway, this is a terrific movie and well worth seeing. The two black musicals that were made by Hollywood, this one by MGM and Stormy Weather, I think by Fox later, are both well worth watching because the talent on screen is incredible. These people are just so gifted. 